Assalamualaikum everyone. Welcome back to Restaurant Management System Tutorials, and this is Ali Raza. And in today's class, I'm going to demonstrate how can we create the menu of our restaurant management system. Uh, in the previous lectures, we have created uh, the category window, and we have used the user authentication, and we have enhanced our user interface with respect to some images. So uh, let's start and have a look what we have today inside menus window. Right? Let's go. The very first thing that I am going to create here is the database uh, of the menu, right? So let us create a table with the name menu items. Uh, create table menu or menu item you can write, and then m underscore id integer not null identity, and it should be primary key. Then after specifying the id, you have to specify the name of that item. Menu underscore name, and it should be varchar hundred. Let's say if you have a very long name, but but it is not necessary that it will go as much uh, as hundred. So make it fifty. It's enough for a menu item. Let's say biryani or cold drink or Pepsi or Seven Up and so on. Anything or chicken fried rice and all that all comes in in between uh, within the range of fifty characters. I think right. So fifty uh, is enough, and then it should be not null. And of course, uh, because we are creating a menu item table, so in this table we should have the relationship with the categories table that uh, which item or which category this item belongs to. So we have a relationship here. So think about that before doing any any task. So uh, about the relationships, we first find the cardinality that is one to one or one to many or many to many or many to one. So what is the cardinality of the category and the menu in between? The relationship between these two tables should be like uh, one category can have multiple menu items. Okay, so category is one and multiples are items. So one to many is the relationship with respect to categories table. So inside the menu table, we have to specify a foreign key uh, from the categories table. That is category ID. So I hope it is clear to everyone with respect to the relationship and cardinality. You have to think it and then do it. So the name of that menu. And then the category ID, from which category this menu is belonging. So you have to specify that. Now, what is the data type of category? Let us verify it. That is integer. So right here, integer, and then not null, and then it should be the foreign key. So right here, foreign key, and then references, and then uh, the primary key table. That is my categories table. So categories, and then the column in the categories table that you are going to map with is the Category ID, and then you have to specify the constraints of on delete and on update. On delete, you have to do what um, cascade. Let's say if you are going to delete barbecue from the categories, all the barbecue items here will also be deleted. On delete cascade, that that's what this means is. And then uh, on update, on update cascade. What does this mean? This means that. When you update the category ID, the category ID in the use in the in the menu item table will also be updated automatically, no matter what amount of data we have. So on delete cascade, on update cascade, uh, all now set. What thing was we must do? What else we can add here is the is the price of that uh, particular menu item. Let's say if you are adding a cold drink, let's say Seven Up or Pepsi, so you have to add its price uh, inside the menu. So price and price should be in money data type. Okay, you can specify money or you can use uh, float also, whatever you wanted to. Uh, you can now uh, execute this code. Okay, one thing you can add, uh, one more thing you can add that is the status of this menu item. In most of the times, uh, we are uh, not, uh, we are we are having that item in the menu, but uh, when the customer is about to order that item, and then the waiter said. Sorry, ma'am, or sorry, sir. This item is not available. Uh, only these these items are available. So uh, it's, we can add a criteria here that this item is a currently active I, uh, item, or it is not an active item, or it is not available. Let's say so. Price underscore let's say status, and it should be tiny integer. I will store zero for inactive and one for active. Okay, so it will save my space in the database. All set now. Okay, it is saying something. There is a problem. Uh, categories. What is the name of? Okay, the spelling mistake I have done in the name of my table. So 
instead of renaming it i'm copying that name and pasting it here hopefully it is correct now commands completed successfully now uh, insert update select delete procedures we have to create it create procedure st underscore insert insert what insert menu item and then as what parameters you have to create here name varchar 50 and the category id that is integer and uh, the price that is money and last is we have the status and that should be tiny integer all these are my variables now insert into uh, menu and the values are respectively at the rate name at the rate category id and then at the rate price and then at the rate status okay so all now set commands completed successfully yes and then copy this code for update procedure paste it and instead of insert write here update and give here another property that is MID that is my menu ID that is integer as update update what menu set M underscore M underscore name equals to at the rate name so that the name will be updated or M underscore price equals to at the rate price so that the price will be updated and M underscore status equals to at the rate status so that the status will be updated all these three things with respect to what where m underscore id is equals to at the rate mid that is my menu item id so that's my update procedure executed now what after this we have to uh, write the delete query also so copy this one and paste it here and remove all the things only i need the menu id as what you have to specify we have to specify delete so delete from menu as sorry where m underscore id is equals to at the rate mid okay so change its name to delete and execute it now moving forward uh, create another procedure for getting these things so procedure st underscore get menu okay so i wanted to pick up the menu with respect to the category okay or i wanted to select all the menu items uh, there are multiple variations here in this procedure so get menu i'm uh, right now for the current time being i'm i'm getting all the items but with respect to category we have to uh, retrieve the menu items also so get menu as select from from where from menu m and give here a join because we have a join table inner join categories c e t e c a t e r with respect to the spelling that i have provided mistakenly categories and c is the alias on c dot c underscore ID. Don't worry about the intelligence because uh, I have created just now these tables. So you, when you restart or refresh your SQL Server, the intelligence will, uh, will uh, start working. So category ID. You have to be sure about your work that you have done. And inside menu, you have you have what? M underscore category ID. Column name is this. So paste it here. M dot. Now it's fine. Okay. Uh, what do you have to select? m dot menu id as menu id then m dot menu name as menu item okay and then m dot price as it should become price and then m dot status but the status you have to specify that available and not available so i am applying your case it's like switch case case when i am applying a condition case when 
this status is equals to equals so status is equals to 1 if if status is equals to 1 then what to display you have to display their available available else what not available right not available and then end that's it so that's what uh, we will uh, display the records available not available and as status and then you have to specify c dot category id also so c underscore category id as category id for our purposes for our work i am specifying that category id and then c dot c underscore name that's my column name as the category name okay so that's uh, what, what is the category so when you execute this query uh, the things will be executed successfully inshallah look the query is working right now i don't have any data so that's why it is showing me blank so get menu is now fine you can do one thing more uh, order by order by c dot c underscore name category name you can order the, your menu with respect to categories right so ascending now that's fine execute this query get menu commands completed successfully all things are now set but now one more thing you have to specify copy this code and paste it here get menu with respect to category okay you have to specify with respect to category where c dot c underscore id is equals to at the rate cid that means category id let's say if i give uh, fast food so all the items of the fast food will be displayed if i gave a barbecue so all the barbecue items should be displayed so so i have simply added a condition where category id equal to this whatever the category i will provide that data that related data will be will be fetched out okay so i hope it is clear to everyone so get menu with respect to category and you have to specify the category id at the rate category id that is integer and that's it now let us execute this code so my this query is also completed now let's go to the uh, menu screen so menu window where we have the menu window inside our solution explorer that's i have created all these windows in the previous lectures together so now label and uh, what you else need text box the name of the menu item let's say seven up or biryani or whatever you are going to specify uh, after that uh, you have to specify the category of this item okay so you you can copy this label and paste it so that's the design part combo box because categories are many so you have to specify a combo box here so that all the categories will be listed down okay and then what you need here um, label again after category you have to specify the price so text box make it talked then the price and the last thing we have to specify is the status so copy and paste and uh, write here status for status i am selecting a combo box again and okay select your both the combo boxes go to the properties make them pop up for validations and make them drop down lists so that user cannot be able to write in this and now come to its properties and give appropriate naming that's my label so menu item the first label we have and then here you have to specify the length how many i length it should be 50 and what is the coding name of this menu item text and then it's it's a drop down list so the drop down name should be the category drop down so category drop down and then the label should be it should be category okay category and then what we have here uh, after this the price of that menu item price and this this maximum length should be let's say five digits not more than that not more than that the price should not be more than that okay five digits 
and the and the the alignment should be on the right because amounts are already always written on the right hand side okay so i have uh, applied here right and then that's label is status status and then it is my status drop down so status drop down okay now moving forward and we have to specify a grid so copy this co uh, grid and paste here also so all the menu items will be displayed here add column names appropriately category id and category we have here we also add menu id menu id gv and the header should be menu id one thing it should not be visible read only menu id is there and the menu item gv so it should be menu item the header text and it should be visible now menu id and menu item id uh, uh, both are there and then price gv it should be price category and category id is al also already there after price you have the status so the status gv status gv should be displayed as status and then what else you need here uh, all things are specified category and all that okay so close it and now arrange these items let's say first the first thing you have to display is this and then the price and then the last thing we have to specify is the category and then the status okay the, these things are now fine so this is my grid view that is specified with respect to this window also now uh, let's go to the sample 2 window and copy and paste these buttons quickly for overriding these methods menu window go to its code and zoom it out and paste these buttons instead of virtual what we have to do here override in the current document replacements are done now on save button what we have to do we have to go we have to close this window first so that things are clear food categories go to its save window and copy this code copy it and <coughs> paste it here okay but we haven't created methods inside our code so let's go to the code and create that methods also go to insert inside insert window insert class sorry copy this category and paste it here insert category instead of this right here insert menu item and then what you have to insert here that is the name menu item name and then its price that should be in float uh, price and then the status that should be in tiny integer so the status that's it and the category id also so category id should become second last so category id is an integer so integer category id so all things are now i have specified uh, now change this and um, what is the name of my procedure insert insert menu item copy this and uh, paste it here and then remove this remove this also copy this one and how many things i have four things so copy paste and paste okay four things now copy these names at the rate name paste category id then copy it and uh, paste it here and then we have to specify the price and uh, price is here and the last thing we have is the status copy this and paste it here all things are now set in the name you have to specify menu item in the category id you have to specify the category id and then price these are my parameters and then status okay all code is now remains the same and instead of this you have to specify the menu item to so copy it and paste it all messages are remain same now one thing you have to specify the uniqueness of the menu item and in that particular category okay the menu item should be unique and the menu with respect to that category should be unique okay so how can you specify that go to your code uh, i have forgotten forgot to add that unique constraint here but when you forget you can alter that also no problem but let us go to the uh, tables uh, menu and go to its design and go to its indexes and unique keys and create an index 
sorry unique key with respect to what the menu item the menu item should be unique okay so name the the sorting filter is here ascending and then one more thing you have to specify that is unique key and what should be unique the menu name and with the category id so on same category the same menu will not be added let's say in bbq in barbecue you cannot add stick if you have already added that stick okay in same category you cannot add the same item so this is what you have to make uh, secure your database so that uh, even mistakenly you 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 save your work and you save your database so close this and save it uh, all things are now set okay uh, after that uh, you have to specify what mm, the the update code right uh, menu item added successfully if it is unable to save the menu item so what we will write here unable to save menu item possible errors menu exist already menu item you can write here menu item exist already and then copy this code and paste it in inside the update window so go to your updation and uh, paste it here and instead of this remove these all because the parameters are the same so copy this name that's it and one thing that you have to specify that is the id copy this one and paste it and before this you have to specify what <coughs> the id that is integer integer menu id that's it so on that menu id the data will be updated on runtime menu id and it should become i think mid is the name of the parameter yes it's mid so i have passed this mid here and the menu id okay the things are updated successfully the message unable to update menu item possible uh, errors are these so this is set for update and insert now let's go to the retrieval window uh, okay before going to that uh, we, we have to change this name update menu item okay now fine <coughs> after that we have to specify the retrieval uh, go to our retrieval class and then instead of add categories copy this and uh, paste it here so when you are retrieving you are retrieving all the things so what what things you you have to specify let me add in this so first thing we have to specify the category id category name and then uh, we need data grid view column data grid view column sorry uh, this is column and uh, item menu item gv okay and then copy this and paste it menu item id gv and then you need the price gv and what else you need the uh, status gv category there menu item is there pr price and status is there i think all is now uh, all things are now taken then remove this st underscore get categories and uh, select that uh, get menu item so get menu copy and uh, paste it here and uh, after that you have to specify some columns 1 2 3 4 5 5 and then category and category id remove this remove these things and then category id category name and then what you have to specify here um menu id gv menu item gv and then menu item id gv and then you have to specify the price gv and then the status gv status gv and then what we left all things are now set okay the status and all that now uh, inside category id what we have the name is category id copy this and uh, paste it here inside category id so that it will be updated then category so we have this spelling always copy and paste because uh, on run time you forget or you have some spelling mistake so menu item so what is the name of my menu item that's the name of my column copy it 
and paste it here and then you have to apply the id so where is the id the id is here copy it and paste it in the id grid view column map it and then you have to specify the price gv for price you have to select this one copy and uh, paste it here and then the status the last thing we have here is the status where is the status here we have the status copy it and paste it here okay all things are now set nothing is left now let's go to the implementation part quickly instead of we are in the menu window so insert menu insert menu is the select okay so insert menu item instead of this you have to specify your menu items now what is it asking menu item so menu item text dot text that's the name and then what do you have to specify the price price text okay i haven't uh, specified the name of that price text so you can write here price text and then uh, it is a status drop down right it is fine so it should be uh, convert dot to single because it is in uh, money data type so single is the appropriate one price text dot text you can apply a regular expression here that the numbers it should become numbers on only and then you have to specify the category id where is your category id we will fetch it convert dot to integer 32 and category id will select from category drop down dot selected value dot to string we haven't loaded the categories yet we will load it later and then the status how can we specify the status for that you have to write here um integer 16 status equals to we i am going to apply a ternary operation let's say um status drop down status drop down dot selected item is equals to equals to what uh, available if it is available i am doing the reverse effect question mark then write zero Oh, sorry one and if it is not available then select zero okay so what will happen it is saying that okay you have to convert it into short so can I write here short no it's still saying that you cannot apply this so put it in teacher 16 that's a pro problem of conversion of the type convert dot to integer 16 and uh, then specify your one inside this so that's a very unusual thing okay so you have to put it um, convert dot to integer 16 and then specify zero in it so that the data type remains the same and look now the error is resolved remove these things doc uh, undock it now it's fine now what you have to specify at the end uh, you have to still I have left with something I think uh, no everything is now I have passed but what it is saying that it should be short so it should be short not integer 16 so short and then still it is saying that I have misplaced some data first thing is the string the second thing is float the third thing is integer yes the fourth thing i have to pass is still yes status the status is in short so right here status it should be status okay so uh, now all things are set reset, reset disable now category so get uh, get what get menu items get menu what we have the name get menu items where it is all right uh, get menu I, uh, I have I haven't changed that name that was get categories that's why it is uh, not appearing here so uh, now it will appear yes get menu and then what it is asking me for it is asking me the grid view and then it is asking me the category ID column and then it is asking me the category name column and then it is asking me the menu item uh, menu item GV so it should be menu item GV and then it is specifying the menu item ID so menu item ID GV is there and then we have to specify here the price column so price gv and then we have to specify here the status gv column uh, that is this one so hopefully uh, we have called everything 
now copy this code and paste it here exactly here and then instead of insertion right here updation because everything is same updation and then uh, we have update menu item and then you have to specify the menu id so i haven't created a menu id here so you have to specify integer and then uh, menu id menu id is here now uh, you can pass this menu id as the first parameter so menu id that's the case then you have to uh, disable and then get menu all things are now set copy this get menu and uh, paste it here in the view inside delete go to your um, food categories window and copy this delete code and paste it here in menu window and change what this and uh, copy the new delete procedure that is my um, where is it where it is it yes here we have copy it and paste it what is the parameter name it's MID copy it and paste it here or write M okay and instead of category ID you will write menu ID so that's my menu I you sure you want to delete this record all things are now set one thing we, uh, is still left that is the grid click when I click here uh, go to the event cell click event raise it and then specify what food categories and copy this grid click copy it and paste it here and instead of category id right here menu id and in this menu id you have to specify the menu id gv menu id gv column of the grid view and then the category because category is now in the in, in the drop down so category drop down dot selected value and then you have to specify the value Wh which value category id gv so automatically it will be mapped and then you have to specify the menu text so menu item text dot text is equals to copy this code and paste it write to string because it is in a string and then you have to specify menu item uh, gv because it is the name of the menu item and then the price text price text dot text is equals to um, row dot cells dot two string and then you have to specify price gv after that uh, we have status so status drop down dot selected item because it is not up coming from database uh, because i will hard code available and not available so uh, i am selecting here selected item equals to um, paste it dot two string and the status that i am receiving from my um, database that is status and store it in the status gv and then uh, what else we need everything is now fetched out so let's go uh, and load the records double click on your menu and load the records how can you load the records in the category window category drop down so main class sorry retrieval dot load items that the global method that i have created so what is the procedure name for loading the items uh, that is my uh, basically that uh, i want to load the categories so get categories i should have to take get categories where is get categories yes here we have copy this name this procedure this is my procedure so copy that name and paste here inside the double quotes and then after that combo box the name of my combo box is category drop down and then the display member and the value member so what is the display member and what should be the display member and value member that's my value member id so first first of all it is asking me display member and then it is asking you value member so value member i have applied inside double quotes and what's my display member the display member will be category so copy it and uh, paste it here okay so on load the items will be loaded but the default item is selected already so you have to make it combo box dot selected index minus one so that it will become empty so after this you have to specify category drop down dot selected index is equals to minus one so that it will become empty by default this combo box category drop down so now uh, let's start and see what we have done 
okay it's an error where is an error status okay okay because uh, status is here so copy that status or cut that status and paste on the top okay so it will become global okay so if edit or up or save whatever you have that status will be updated accordingly let us now run check it run and check right so uh, login and then uh, the menu and then click save validations are working and uh, then click add menu item let's say the first menu item of our restaurant will be let's say or should be biryani the national dish of pakistan let's say and then category the category should be let's say pakistani cuisine and then the price let's say it's 150 rupees so it is appearing on the right hand side because i have changed its alignment and then the status um, status is uh, i have left that status i have to add status first just give me a while i'll give i'll add the status two statuses here uh, that is available by default is it available or it is not available okay uh, do not please do not make spelling mistakes otherwise the data will not be retrieved or selected here so available and not available so let us start and do it once again and demonstrate it menu add and then okay uh, you have to disable these controls because I have picked up these controls I, I haven't copied paste these controls so look uh, when you are opening this window these are already enabled so please do do, do disable these controls first then this will be working okay so menu item is let's say biryani and then the category should be Pakistan and then price should be 150 rupees and then status should be available okay and then click save biryani added successfully into the system uh, so alhamdulillah we have achieved that and now look the data is appearing but the default uh, price is appearing with dot four zeros so you can remove these zeros uh, via code we'll we'll see it in later classes no problem because today we are uh, running out of the time so i hope it is clear to everyone now instead of 150 if i am adding here 160 and click save so the amount is updated perfectly and then if you wanted to view yes it is viewing and if you wanted to delete then you can delete it also okay uh, one thing that you can do here is the change the icon names you can do that in the sample too select your all the buttons go to the properties and click the cursor and change it to hand so that now the hand will also appear on your uh, every window whatever window you will go look okay hand is appearing on your button so it is a uh, good interface now so hopefully uh, everything is clear to everyone if you do not understand anything please do ask me thank you so much take care allah hafiz